We've got June, odd eight, and we're on page 11B. We've got a dog walking eight meters north and then six meters due east. Yeah, dogs do that all the time. Oh, look, there's a dog walking north. Look, he's walking due east. Dogs do do this all the time. I said doo doo. <laughs> Question 55, using a metric ruler and this vector diagram, determine the scale used in the diagram. They say eight meters and six meters, so let's figure this out. Well, my eight meter line looks like one, two, three, four centimeters. And my six meter line looks like one, two, three centimeters. So I'm going to say it's eight meters divided by four centimeters, or two meters per centimeter. I like that answer. So we have to write our answer on the answer sheet, and it says one centimeter equals two meters. There you go. Question 56. On the diagram in your answer booklet, construct the resultant vector that represents the dog's total displacement for one point. So the dog starts here, ends up over there, so a vector representing that will start here and end here. Don't forget to put an arrow. Vectors have arrows on them. That's the dog's total displacement for one point. And now question 57, determine the magnitude of the dog's total displacement. So we can do it two different ways. We can say uh, it's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So 6, 8, this ought to be 10 meters. Or we can use our scale. And if that scale is right, then this line should be 5 centimeters long. And 1, 2, 3, 4 five centimeters. So it works both ways for a point. We really don't need to show the math. We just need to give them an answer. Careful, don't write five centimeters. Write 10 meters total displacement. Question 58. Two small identical metal spheres, A and B, on insulated stands are each given a charge of positive 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. So we have... Uh, Q1 or QA, 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. QB, 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. They're both positive, so they'll be repelling. The distance between the spheres is 2 times 10 to the negative 1 meter. Distance is 2 times 10 to the negative 1 meter. Calculate the magnitude of the electrostatic force. So we want to calculate the force between those two charges. Show all work, including equations, substitution with units. So the first thing we do is we transfer our information onto our answer sheet. Charge A is positive 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Charge B is also positive 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. The distance separating them is 2 times... 10 to the negative 1 meters, and we're looking for the force of repulsion in this case. But they're not asking if it's attractive or repulsive, they just want to know the magnitude. Now, the very first formula in the electricity section gives us our solution. Force is KQ cubed divided by R squared. So force is equal to K times Q1 times Q2 divided by R squared. We gotta go find K. And that would be uh, one of these numbers here. There it is, K. It's the electrostatic constant. And it's equal to 8.99 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. So let's write that down. K is equal to 8.99 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. The next step is to plug in all of our knowns into the formula. Don't forget units. So K would be 8.99 times 10 to the 9 
Newton times meters squared per coulomb squared. And then we multiply that times 2 times 10 to the 6 coulombs times 2 times 10 to the 6 coulombs. And we divide it by the distance, 2 times 10 to the negative 1 meters. Don't forget to square that. Now if we do the units, coulombs, coulombs, coulombs squared, meters squared will leave us units of force, which are newtons. So this is our force. And now, calculator time. 8.99 exponent uh, 9. A lot of nines there. 9. 8.99 times 10 to the 9. Times 2 exponent negative 6. Times 2 exponent negative 6. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to write little negative 6's here. And then divided by. And watch this, I'm going to put in parentheses as well. Parentheses, 2 exponent negative 1 squared, and parentheses. And I've got 0.899 newtons. Force is equal to 0.899 newtons or 8.99 times 10 to the negative 1 newtons. Either one is correct.